Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, we got a good one. We're gonna be talking about the aero package that comes on the limitless vehicles. We're gonna be taking a look at what happens to a radio control car, the Arma Limitless, when we are driving it at top speed, somewhere in the neighborhood of just shy of 100 miles per hour, and we have the full aero kit, Verse when we actually cut the arrow down to more of a minimum amount. We're not going to completely eliminate it, but ultimately what we want to determine is, is there a difference? We're pretty much assuming there is a difference. What is that difference? What kind of difference does it make in terms of top speed and then the overall amount of power that we're going to consume to maintain that top speed? Just before we dive into it, I want to thank the patrons for your support to help make these videos possible and allow me to continuously put out content every single week. Let's jump into it and take a look at a few passes that we make both with aero and with minimum aero. One thing I do want to speak about before we get into talking about these passes and what's going on within the vehicle is that I did make these passes back to back to back. So in other words, the very first run that we made here today is going to have the maximum amount of voltage potential for that motor to spin up to the highest potential RPM. Then the last pass that we made had the lowest amount of potential voltage at the start of that run in order to hit top speed or highest RPM. So there is an impact that this plays in the actual overall top speed and this works to my advantage to show kind of the deeper details as to what's going on what we saw is we saw that the first couple passes we made we hit a maximum top speed of 153 kilometers per hour then in the third and fourth pass that we made we hit a top speed of 157 kilometers an hour in pass three and 156 kilometers per hour in pass four now you might be you're wondering the speed difference there is almost negligible we do care about every single kilometer per hour when we're trying to achieve a new personal best but for this test that kind of difference really doesn't say too much about reducing the amount of aero that is installed on our vehicle well this doesn't paint the whole picture we cannot just consider speed alone we need to dive deeper into the details and really truly understand what is going on and that's what we want to do so what I've done is I've extracted all of the electronics speed control data I have pulled that and analyzed it and threw it into a few graphs that we're gonna review right now so when we ended up hitting hundred and fifty three kilometers per hour one of the unique things here is that we ended up pulling three thousand fifty four watts on average between both of those runs I've taken the two values and just averaged them if we want to convert this to our own efficacy value we can take the amount of watts that we ended up pulling and divide it by the kilometers an hour that we ended up hitting this is the speed that we hit and we get 19.96 watts for every kilometer an hour of speed that we ended up achieving for those first two passes 
Now this efficacy value that we are using here, you can't really apply it to another vehicle because it's not going to work out that way. And you can't even really apply it to the same vehicle if you're going to hit a higher top speed. Higher top speeds, obviously you're going to consume more power and consume more power per kilometer an hour in order to hit that top speed. The way that we're going to use this is a comparison between each of the passes that we made, both with aero and without aero. Another thing worth mentioning here is that I am maintaining full power, 100% throttle for a decent duration of time. I think I ended up in the first pass that we made, I was a little shy only holding it for about two and a half seconds, but then the second, third, fourth pass, I ended up holding it for about 3.5 to 3.8 seconds in total. And what I can see on the graphs is that they are fairly flat in terms of the wattage that we are pulling, which tells me that you're not really going to gain many more kilometers per hour. We're essentially at the top speed for this run. Even if we ran it for a mile long, it would would still hit roughly the same speed. So we're at that peak speed with these setups. When we minimize the amount of error that we had on the car by cutting down those spoilers and installing those components back onto the car, we ended up hitting 2,344 watts in order to hit that top speed of 156.5 kilometers per hour on average. This gave us an efficacy in our own terms of 15 watts per kilometer per hour. This is a massive difference between when we installed the minimum amount of error first maximum amount of arrow. That's a difference of nearly five watts per kilometer per hour. And when you look at the percentage difference of the amount of power we're consuming with full aero versus minimized aero, we're dropping about 20 plus percent in power consumption, assuming that we hit the same top speed. That is a massive difference when you're considering the amount of power it takes to maintain that top speed. This absolutely tells us that it is very well worth reducing the amount of aero that we have to make top speeds, which is pretty much what we assume, but this puts it into numbers and allows us to really understand how much of a difference it is making. And this is only at 97 miles per hour top speed, which is the 156.5 kilometers per hour. If you're exceeding this and starting to approach the 200 to 250 kilometers per hour mark, you are going to be using a lot more power for every bit of aero that is installed on that car. Pushing air at high speeds takes a lot of power to move that air out of the way so that your car can cut through it and hit those top speeds. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.